what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm finally back from my new york work trip and it was like so so much fun i am not a new york city type of girl but there wasn't as many people out there as i thought it would be especially during the holidays so like i was definitely living it up walking around the city like we got to try so many really great restaurants and it was really just nice catching up with the girls and all of that kind of stuff however um tonight we actually have riley's first party for her gingerbread house party so we're gonna have a couple of kids come over tonight to do that so we're gonna set that area up back there i know i'm i'm already starting to feel a little bit stressed like why would i do this to myself however i really wanted my godson to be there and next week they are leaving to go on their like winter vacation so this was really the only day that i had to do this so basically what i'm gonna do is clear off that entire table so we can kind of like get the whole like party set up and all of that stuff i have to of course throw in some laundry which you guys already saw i'm really trying to get all of that out of the way tidy up the living room clean riley's room because of course the kids are probably going to want to play after so i just feel as if i have like so much to do so little time and yeah so that is what we are working with today so let me just clean up this living room and really just work on getting my place back in order and all of that kind of stuff especially before the party when you have like people coming over to your house like uh the stress of it all East Coast always in me, Commonwealth milk junk, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. Lord knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. I won't ever sell myself short, cause I know you'll see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up. I'ma put my money where my mouth is. Talk a good game, I'm an alpha babe. Even on my worst days, still an alpha babe. Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha babe. Eight ball in your pocket, I'm your alpha babe. okay so this is definitely going to be the biggest project so i'm just gonna work by i'm gonna start off by clearing off the table seeing if i can fit anything in the drawers also to see if i can fit anything onto the top um, for now so we hit at least and we'll move the table out to the center and kind of like um just i'm gonna lay across some like paper which i'll show you guys in a second just to make sure that you know all of the decorating and all of that kind of stuff doesn't get everywhere i'll do a quick haul of the things that i picked up show you guys the gingerbread houses and all of that kind of stuff but definitely need to get this area cleaned up you only call me on the weekends when you're out and about only chasing highs you need me he brings me flowers on a tuesday he gives me good love and something that I never thought existed I know what I need, ain't gonna lie I know what I want, speak in my mind now The queen needs a king to be by her side I'm on my mind, loving's on my mind 
So we have everything moved. I'm actually gonna end up bringing my other chair that I have at my desk to put there. There are gonna be five kids, so we probably will have to bring the ottoman over or I can use the stool, just something for them to sit on while they're working on their um, gingerbread houses. I'm almost thinking about moving the bike right behind the couch area just to kind of give more room in case the parents need to help out. You know, these are like little kids, you know what I'm saying? So I think I will probably end up doing that, just moving that out of the way so it gives us like some more space and room. I moved the tree into this corner and then I also you moved all of the waters over there. So for the most part, we are all set. The only thing I have to do is just start to like set the actual table, but I might end up waiting until Riley gets back to do that because I know she wants to really help, you know, put her whole party and everything like that together. But the next thing we have to tackle is her room because that's a hot mess and I know that these kids are going to want to play afterwards and who wants to play in a messy room? So this is everything that we picked up for the party. So I got two of these mini villages. I know that Target, Michaels, so many different places sell the gingerbread houses and the larger ones. But honestly, you're paying about like $12 for one large one when you can buy the mini ones where you get four different houses in one box. So this is perfect if you are doing this with kids. I'm not the biggest fan of the icing, but I'll show you guys something else that I did pick up. And then it also does come with candy, but I always like to add some more. So we got some um, gummy bears. I also picked up this rainbow icing and candies decorating kit. So it has some candies and also colorful icing. Riley wanted to pick up some Nerds. We got M&Ms. And then I also picked up these individual cookie icing. I thought these were perfect. So each of the kids, it's a lot easier for them to use to put the icing on the gingerbread houses. And then I always like to line the table with this like brown crafting paper. So that's what we're going to do first. And then we're going to set everything up so that we can have the party. Right, Riley? Yeah. So 
selfish You get mad every time you lose You can't take me with you I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse Come a little bit closer Yeah I can really start over Yeah In the back of my mind There's someone waiting on me You're just wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure Yeah I can finally start over So the party was a huge success. Riley's very first party being a host and everything like that. But all the kids had such a great time. We had about five kids come over and they each got to decorate um, one of the mini gingerbread houses. So I'll have everything that you would need like linked down below for you guys. I know everything should be on sale. I found them at Target, ShopRite, um, Michaels, and I think at this point most of them are on sale but i always like to get the mini houses which i showed you guys in the previous clip when you saw riley and i putting everything together but i will show you guys quickly what her gingerbread house looked like i also do recommend getting extra um, icings because each kit only has like one large um, icing thing however what we did find was that using the icing that came with the kits was better to put the houses together and then any extra icing that you get is better for decorating so just kind of keep that as a note if you guys are interested in kind of like throwing your own party or even just like making the gingerbread houses yourself but everybody enjoyed it the kids had such a great time then they ran around and played here until probably about eight last night so it was really a good time this is Riley's house and each one of them got to pick a different colored icing to decorate as well. Of course, you know, she picked pink. So what I want to do today is basically to take this garland off of the mirror. So many of you guys suggested that I put it on the TV console. The only issue that I had was that it's so close to the tree, but I do want to see what that looks like. I also ended up finding another one of these like star um, string lights, but honestly, they're really not that bright. Not that I really want something really, really bright, but I hoping that like two of them might look a lot better so we're going to take this down put this on the tv console and then i was also thinking like where am i supposed to put this but this would be perfect right on the table So how do we feel about this? Does this look a lot better? It's not really competing with the tree too much, but now I feel like this side is a little bit plain, but who knows, maybe we can figure something out. But I do think it's nice. You can't really see the bows too much, but hopefully once the lights go on, it will be a lot better. Wake up at your place. 
so i have a couple i have a couple of riley's like stocking stuffers and things like that so i figured it's the perfect time to wrap them she's out of the house all of that kind of stuff i ended up purchasing these cute little um masks from Amazon and they're specifically supposed to be for little kids and you guys already know that Riley loves doing face masks and all of that stuff but we've always just like purchased the ones from the store that are actually for adults so they're like too big and all of that kind of stuff so I thought these would be perfect for her also the girl loves nails and I saw these fun impress mini um, manicure sets I actually didn't even find them on the website I found them at Walmart so I'll see if I can link them below they're super super cute so I got these and then I showed you guys this in a previous haul I got these slippers for her for my mom's house and I have this wrapping paper with me I'll probably go grab some more and then some of these like small little like accessory things that I got from the Target dollar section so I figured we would sit down chit chat a little bit because I feel like some of you guys have noticed that I have been off a little bit I know you guys have mentioned it in my comments and also the lack of responses to a lot of comments and I really do like apologize for all of that it's not even a malicious thing whatsoever it's more of just like I have been feeling in a rut lately and I'm trying to get myself out of it um and I just hang on at this point old feelings and emotions have kind of like popped up um, that I wasn't even necessarily expecting to to pop up at all uh, what did I do where did the tape up <laughs> that I didn't necessarily expect to pop up and then like as much fun as I had in New York there were just moments where it made me sad because like I'm not even going to lie like usually leaving Riley because I'm with her all the time like I don't usually feel that bad it's more of like I'm just gonna quickly go on a work trip like also just have a couple days to myself type of thing like I know that my community back home is here she's fine she's safe like I can go on this trip and we're fine but like this last time I literally just like saw her you know like walking into grandma's house I'm like driving away and I just got so emotional to the point where I almost am second guessing myself because I feel like with this new role i potentially will be traveling more than i did with my old company and it just makes me feel as if like did i make the right decision did i make the right choice because is this new role going to keep me away from my child like more is that something that i really want to to do um i've even just been feeling a little bit lost as if like is this even the right career for me like it's just like I literally feel as if I have gone down a rabbit hole of just feeling like lost overwhelmed and all of that kind of stuff so I've just been trying to give myself a little bit of grace and just trying to explore these like feelings because I've never really had them like this before and um yeah also like when i was in new york like a lot like the i love seeing the girls that i work with um they're all like literally so nice but they're younger than me because like we started talking about like age and all of that kind of stuff and it just made me like start to like second guess like golly like i'm the oldest one in this group you know and uh, in my opinion because again like this is just me projecting my own insecurities and all that stuff not that they have made me feel this way at all but I almost like start to feel like am I even like no I'm not where I would like to be in life I feel as if I should be further along um and it just has me like as a whole just like second guessing myself and you know 
even just being like angry at times like regarding this like you know just situational stuff like why they even stay at this company for so long um where they didn't value their employees and all that kind of stuff like i could be making i could have been making so much um, more money earlier on in my career like all of that kind of stuff um but i'm also trying to realize that you know or get myself to understand that this is also part of god's plan because like if i wasn't supposed to even get to this position i wouldn't have gotten the job you know what i mean but at the same time it does cause me to to compare myself you know what i mean like a lot of them have houses and like granted they live in a completely different state but like still like that's my biggest like goal for next year which i've shared with you guys is the fact that like i want to own a house and like i'm older than them i don't have a house like one of them is having a baby and then it just put me in my feelings because i'm just like i want more kids and like it's just like i told you guys it's legitimately been a rabbit hole and i'm trying to pull myself out of it you know what i mean and i'm pretty sure like many of us have felt these type of like have felt this way in the past like you know what i mean so if you guys have please let me know what you do to get yourself out of it um but yeah that's just kind of like where i've been and just like second guessing myself second guessing every single move like upset like why did i waste my life in certain situations and it's like oh so annoying you know what i mean um but yeah that's kind of what's been going on a bit um with me and i do apologize for like not not saying not being as open because i feel as if i'm pretty open with you guys but just like i don't know maybe just taking the time to deal with it first without you know I guess sharing which is fine because I should be able to take that time to myself and try and just like figure out you know everything that's going on or you know whatever but that's kind of it in a nutshell but yeah I just I guess I wish that I was in a different place in my life right now and I'm not and there's honestly nothing I could do about it. Like I can't go back in time and, you know, I can't do any of those things. So it's kind of like just embrace where I'm at and just know that this is part of my journey. And that's honestly why I share these things with you guys is because like it's part of my journey. And I feel as if a lot of the times when I share with you guys like my vulnerabilities and stuff like that, you guys you know it resonates with you guys a lot of you guys are saying you're going through the same thing so it's like i'm sharing it with you guys in hopes that it continues to like inspire you and i do feel as if like that's part of my you know journey and purpose in life is sharing my experiences and and things like and things like that so it is what it is i can't take anything back um I can't do anything different and yeah that's kind of what I've been going through so when I feel overwhelmed and like there's so much stuff on my plate I'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know I end up letting things fall to the wayside I feel as if what a lot of people end up doing um, just because it's just more for like my mental health and then I'm just like I don't know just like all over the place y'all just all over the place but part of me also feels as if like this is just the devil's attack on me and maybe this also means that I'm closer to achieving my purpose in life you know what I mean because the devil is only going to attack you when when you are doing something you know what I mean like if you have given into what he wants and you're not honoring God and you know you're not drawing closer to him like why would he attack you why because he's got you where he wants you you know what I mean and I feel as if a lot of the times like he attacks us when we are you know drawing closer to God and you know 
all of that stuff and he just wants to get in our heads and he wants to you know make us second guess ourselves so that we just fall apart and so i'm trying to shift my mindset to say like that is the reason so like to keep going to keep pushing to keep doing all of those things because like i'm right on the other side of entering maybe a new season in my life because y'all i'm sick and tired of being at this this season and this stage i'm just like i want to see a radical difference a radical change because i just feel as if i've been somewhat sitting in the same spot for too long at least personally for me but yeah i just wanted to kind of like chit chat with you guys finish wrapping some gifts now i did also get her like a mini brand as well and i saw some things on pinterest on how to like wrap like weird items like that so i'm gonna re-watch those videos and see if we can give that a try to make them like look a little bit cute So as you guys can see, I was trying to wrap the mini brands ball and I tried a couple of times and I just could not seem to get it right. So I figured, you know what, let's put this to the side, worry about it later and start wrapping some other gifts.
So the last thing I want to do is to put some lights up here. One of you guys recommended putting some starry lights and I still have these from when I did that little surprise thing for Riley. So all of the houses do light up except for these wooden ones. So I'm gonna try and see if I can add these underneath and then this way they'll light up at night. We're not okay I look into your eyes and see you fade away No, we're not the same It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love I just wanna lose 